Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a bulb illustration using Inkscape, and it's pretty easy, so let's get into it. First of all, we're gonna select this icon to open Fill and Stroke tab, and then we're gonna select this icon to open Align and Distribute tab. And make sure it is last selected. First of all, I'm gonna make a circle, and to do that, click this icon, and then by holding Ctrl and Shift, I'm gonna make a perfect round circle like this, and then I'm gonna color it purple. After that, for the bottom part, I'm going to use Rectangle Tool. And then I'm going to make a rectangle like this. After that, I want to make the corners of the rectangle to be rounded. And to do that, if you see, the rectangle have this round thing you actually can slide down this to make the corners to be rounded like this i think that's good enough and then i'm gonna put that right here and to make sure it is centered with the circle i'm gonna select the rectangle first and then by holding shift, I'm going to select the circle. After that, I'm going to select this to center on vertical axis. And then deselect everything. After that, I'm going to duplicate this rectangle. And to do that, I'm going to hold Ctrl and D to duplicate. After that, by holding Ctrl, I'm going to slide down like this and scale it down and to do that i'm gonna hold ctrl and shift and scale it down like this after that i'm gonna delete the top part and to do that i'm gonna draw a rectangle across the top After that, I'm going to color it green and then I'm going to go to fill and stroke tab and uh, turn down the opacity first so I can I can be sure uh, what part is going to be cut off and then I'm going to make the corners to be sharp so I'm going to click this after that I'm going to dislike everything first so this part is gonna be cut off and to do that i'm gonna select the green part first and then by holding shift i'm gonna select the purple rectangle and then i'm gonna go to path and difference after that i'm gonna bring it up and to do that, I'm gonna hold control first and I'm gonna put it right here like this after that, I'm gonna make a cut actually two cuts uh, just for aesthetic only and to do that, I'm gonna use rectangle tool so i'm just gonna grab it and i'm gonna make a rectangle like this then i'm gonna duplicate this by clicking ctrl and d to duplicate that and then move it to the lower area and then i'm gonna select both of green part and then 
I'm gonna go to path and union. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. Then make it longer, like this. After that, I'm gonna select the green part and then by holding shift, I'm gonna select the purple part and then I'm gonna go to path and difference. So we have cut like that. After that, for this part, I'm gonna union that and to do that i'm gonna select them both and then i'm gonna go to path and union after that for the center part i'm gonna use this bulb and to do that i'm gonna duplicate this by holding ctrl and d after that i'm gonna color it blue and then i'm gonna scale it down like this and I think that's good enough probably smaller yeah I think that's that's good enough after that I'm gonna make stroke and to do that I'm gonna hold shift and then I'm gonna click yellow color after that, I'm gonna go to stroke style and make sure it is millimeters and then I'm gonna change it to 8 millimeters. I'm gonna change it to 5 millimeters. After that, I'm gonna remove the fill color and to do that, you can click this. After that, I'm gonna go to path and click stroke to path. After that, go to edit path by notes. And then you can select all of these. And then by holding control, we're gonna drag it down like this. So make sure you select all of these nodes by dragging like that. And then I'm gonna deselect all the nodes. After that, I want to make a cut right here. And to do that, I'm gonna use triangle. And to make triangle, you can go to create stars and polygon tool. After that, make sure it is regular polygon and the corner is 3, rounded 0 and randomized 0. After that, by holding Ctrl and Shift, I'm going to make a triangle like this. So I want to make inverted triangle. And then for the fill color, I'm going to use red and then I'm going to delete the stroke. And to do that, I'm going to hold shift and click this. After that, I'm going to go to fill tab and then slide down the opacity. After that, I'm going to move it right here. I'm going to slide it down more, probably like 50, around 50. So I can make sure uh, how much the part that I want to cut. I'm gonna make it bigger. Maybe a little bit more. So this part is gonna be gone. And I think that's good enough. 
and I want to make it centered. To do that, we're gonna select the triangle first, and then by holding shift, I'm gonna select this yellow part. After that, go to align in this triple tab and center on vertical axis. I'm gonna dislike everything, and then by holding shift, I'm gonna select this triangle and then I'm gonna select the yellow object after that I'm gonna go to path and difference the next one is this part and to make that we're gonna use Bezier tool I'm gonna dislike everything first and then I'm gonna go grab Bezier tool after that, I'm gonna make a straight line, and to do that, uh, I'm gonna okay. Make sure the mode is regular Bezier path first, and then I'm gonna make a start point right here. And by holding Control, I'm gonna make a straight line like this. I think that's good enough. I'm making the endpoint right there after that click enter and then because i want it to be stroke so make sure you don't select everything you need to hold shift and click yellow color so the stroke is shown after that because it has fill color right here for for knowing that you can see the bottom left part of the screen there is fill and stroke color because it has fill color i'm gonna delete that and i'm gonna click this so it has only it only has stroke after that i'm gonna Go to edit path by notes and then I'm gonna block all of the two notes and then I'm gonna click this to add new notes. I'm gonna click it three times one, two, three. After that, I'm gonna deselect everything and then we're gonna make it up and down so. We're gonna make it like this i'm gonna move it uh, up and down by holding control so it is not like a free movement I think that's good enough after that we're gonna scale it down and before we scale it down I'm gonna select this to turn off um, so when I'm turn off this icon I can still have the same width of the stroke like this so when I scale it down, I'm not gonna lose the thickness of the stroke. But when I'm turning it on, I'm gonna have the the I'm not I'm gonna lose the thickness of the stroke. So I'm gonna turn it off first, and I'm gonna scale it down. I'm gonna make it narrower after that I'm gonna bring it to this part and then I'm gonna make sure it is centered to do that I'm gonna select this object first and then by holding shift I'm gonna select the purple object 
and then go to align and distribute tab and center on vertical axis I'm gonna move it lower a little bit and I think that's good enough so we can color it as the example and to do that we're gonna grab the purple first the purple object first after that we're gonna grab color picker and then pick this yellow color after that deselect everything and then we go to this yellow color we're gonna select them both and then by using color picker we're gonna select this color and then deselect everything and if you have this kind of problem it is because it is stroke so we're gonna go to right here and then uh, click this to delete the fill color and then go to path and make stroke to path so it is no longer stroke it is a solid fill color after that we're gonna grab a color picker to make it black like the this object okay so that's it we have this pop illustration and if you have any difficulties or any question you can leave comment down below and if you find this video helpful you can check out our tutorial video and you can like and subscribe to this channel and that's it thanks for watching goodbye